Opening up a restaurant is a lot of work. It takes a lot of hours put in. I guess I come from a family of a lot of good cooks. My grandma, my grandpa, my dad, all my uncles, my aunts. I just grew up around great food, and for me to be able to produce good food is, it's in my blood, I guess. My name is Malin. I'm a chef and owner of Nightshade Restaurant in the Arts District in Los Angeles. I didn't tell my parents that I went to culinary school. So actually my mom had uh, found my knives in my car and asked me what those are for and why I had them. And uh, I was just like, oh, you know, I'm holding them for a friend, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> like, uh, kind of ridiculous, but I think at that point she kind of knew. At first my, my parents were a little hesitant about me going into the culinary industry just because it is a lot of hard work and they do it on a daily basis and they, do, they don't want that for their children kind of thing. It's, it's like, oh, hey, you know, just take a higher paying job, being a lawyer, a doctor, whatever else, and like, don't work so hard to get nothing in return. So it's just that kind of mentality. I'm an immigrant, absolutely, I'm an immigrant. I think a lot of my upbringing has uh, influenced my current cooking. Just kind of taking those familiar flavors and putting them in a different setting. I'm actually working on a dish for the restaurant, mapo tofu lasagna. So just taking those flavors of mapo tofu and putting it in lasagna form. My cooking is very technical. I think it's very technique forward. It's easy to cook, but how are you gonna make it more interesting? I think that's the biggest question. LA food scene is is so amazing right now. There's so many different chefs coming from all over and opening up restaurants. It makes LA the place to be. I worked in Vegas, I worked in Chicago. My first restaurant job was at Michael Simon's Roast. Obviously, I was a very green cook. Had no idea like how to work the line. You know, just kind of working every day and, and kind of mimicking everybody's movements. Um, I slowly and gradually got there. I think that, you know, if you want to be a chef, I think you gotta have to put in the hours. So you really have to love what you do. We're making pork belly bao. The great thing about the Mila Combi steam oven is that it has a sous vide option. What's great about sous vide is that it's precision based. It's very precise in terms of the temperature that you're cooking the item that you're cooking, where you have a consistent product throughout every single time. We're gonna set the oven to sous vide the pork for 10 hours at 165. We'll see you in the next 10 hours. Here I have some of the bao dough that I've already made and proofed once, and we're gonna proof it for a second time. Rolling out the dough so it's nice and thin. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut it with a cookie cutter. We're spraying them so they don't stick when they steam. So once we have these folded over, we're going to lay these out on a sheet tray and let them proof in the Mila Combi steam oven. Want to hit OK? There we go. Here is the finished product, the pork belly that has been cooking for 10 hours. You see this pork jelly, that's all good stuff. That's all the stock. It's all the uh, gelatinous properties from the skin of the pork belly. That's going to be great because uh, we're going to utilize that for glazing the pork in the pan. So here we have the Mila induction burners. And I'm going to set it to just a medium, medium low. I'm going to place the pork inside. And we're just going to heat this pork through. We're actually gonna use this as a steamer to steam our bao buns after they come out of the proof. So we're gonna go to operating, and we're gonna to go to steam cooking, and we're gonna set it to 212. And we're gonna steam it for 10 minutes. We're gonna place the pork in the bao. Fresh cucumber for some freshness. Some pickled mustard leaves some pickled 
shallots, some fresh coriander leaves, and lastly, some peanuts. Here we have pork belly bao. The concept of nightshade is really just to take familiar flavors of the different cultures in LA and kind of having it in one setting. <laughs> Opening up a restaurant, that's what's next.